Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for coming back. This is Andre with Yup. I said it. I appreciate your time. I appreciate everything you're doing. Please take a minute. Just take a one split second. Hit the like button for me. I want this video to get out there. I want all of the videos to get out there. I want you guys to watch until the end. I want you guys to be a part of this channel. We're going to make this a big deal. We got a country to save and we got some people to talk to. Today, I want to react to a video by Dr. Umar. You guys may not know who that is. I barely know him, but I know he's been around on the internet for a while. He's a, a, a activist. He's a psychologist. Uh, Dr. Umar is also a uh, motivational speaker. So the reason why I wanted to do this video is because he had, now anytime somebody says something about Trump and they're black, if they say anything about Trump, I want to know what they're saying. I want to know what they're saying because I've watched a lot of people over the years talk about Donald Trump, uh, but never talk about his policies. I've watched a lot of people talk about Donald Trump in the past. Uh, now they've realized what he's all about and then they change their mind after many years. They say, oh my goodness, where was I? Why in the world did I call this man a racist? Why in the world did not understand what he was talking about because they simply just didn't listen. All right, I've been listening, I've been paying attention. Dr. Umar uh, is going to give his opinion on why so many black people are going towards Donald Trump right now. And I, I think it's very interesting because he's gonna kind of go back and forth. So I wanna react to this video and I want to uh, put my two cents in it. And without further ado, here goes Dr. Umar. Let's go. Dr. Umar, welcome back. Glad I never to be back. TV. Glad to be back. <laughs> Serious thing, right? All right, so um, we're going to get right into it. What is this big obsession with, like, this big push of Trump support from black people? Ooh. What's going on here, Fred? couple things. I think the reason why Donald Trump is getting more support from black people, and I would not be surprised if this would be the first election since the 1930s that black people voted more for a Republican than a Democrat. So history might be made in November. History might be made. But. Don't don't get it twisted. The black bourgeoisie is on their job and they out there. You know, so the black bourgeoisie ain't gonna go easy because they know if Trump wins, they're done. No more contracts, no more set aside. You see what I'm saying? Because remember, the black bourgeoisie is only fighting for their own personal stake. Ooh, okay. So the black bourgeoisie, who he's referring to specifically, uh, when I think of black bourgeoisie, I think of Al Sharpton. I think of Maxine Waters. I think of maybe the Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith types. Uh, I think of Jory Reed. Uh, these people, uh, Roland Martin, making money on racism. Okay, so I want you to listen to what he has to say about these people, and I want you to also listen to his take on Donald Trump. Hold on. They don't care about black folks, and, 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 and the Democrats, if you can't deliver the black vote, what good are you? So they all going if they lose. They're not fighting for us, they're fighting for themselves. Couple reasons why black folks may go Democrat in, excuse me, Republican in November. Black people may go Republican in November, number one, I think they're finally getting disenchanted with the Democrats. Mm. I think it's finally beginning to seep in. I think a lot of the analyses that are being made by black political thinkers, including myself, I think black people are really starting to see that we've been had. I mean, to have voted this way for 90 years and got nothing out of it, it's time. They voted this way. Now, listen to what he has to say. He, he said they voted for Democrats for 90 years and haven't gotten anything from it. OK, now here's where some of the delusion comes in, because listen to his statements after he said for 90 years, people have voted for Democrats and they got nothing from it. And here comes Trump for a change of some sort. That's number one. Number two, I think a lot of black people are attracted to Donald Trump's unapologetic disposition. He's very unapologetic. He don't go off cue cards. Completely different from Barack Obama and Joe Biden. You follow me? For a lot of black people, even though he's a racist, he's... Whoa, 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 Slow down, okay? Let's not pull the race cards so fast. Remember, all the things that the mainstream media has been saying about Donald Trump have come to... All the things that the mainstream media has been saying about Donald Trump have been fake, okay? Remember, they're the ones that called him racist. Al Sharpton is calling him racist. The same people he's talking about uh, that black people have been voting for for 90 years. Uh, Joy Reid, they, they, they are saying that Donald Trump is an absolute racist. And then they told you that Joe Biden was an able person. He was sharp as a tack. Now they're saying something different. Okay, someone please... I mean, I'm talking about real racism, okay? I'm talking about blacks not allowed. I'm talking about for real racism. Not that ponytail 
Not that Martin Luther cream. Not that Talcum X. I'm talking real racism. Show me where Donald Trump was racist. Do you guys know that Donald Trump supported Jesse Jackson uh, in his, when he ran for president? Donald Trump was like the, one of the only ones that supported his campaign. Did you know that Donald Trump also supported Al Sharpton? Uh, all the rappers, everyone loved Donald Trump. You guys have heard this stuff before. Uh, even Louis Farrakhan said that Donald Trump was good for us. Who says that? Louis Farrakhan is like... I don't think I ever heard him say any great things about white folks, but he did sit down with Alex Jones. He did keep an open mind. So when we're, when we're going into the racism, this is when your feelings get involved and that stops you from making critical decisions. Racism. No, no. This right here is classism. This is about how much money you're making and how well you're able to take care of your family. Do not follow the race narrative ever again. This is, for, this is why for 90 years you've been in trouble. Is a breath of fresh air because he says what he wants to say. The entertainment aspect of Donald Trump is winning blacks. Number three, Donald Trump claims to care about the economic state of black America, which he doesn't. But he's openly saying, I'm going to do something about the economic. First of all, a president of the United States, there all the states are united, guys. It doesn't say the black the black states. It, it, listen, in other words, a president has to do something for everyone. If you have a restaurant and it's black owned and this person has a restaurant and it's Asian owned and that person has a restaurant and it's white owned, you want everybody to do well. You don't want to come out and say I'm going to do this for black America. Uh, the best thing you could do for black America right now is close the borders. OK, because, yeah, black jobs are getting taken. OK, I've got black jobs right now that are being taken away by illegals. All right. I've got a cleaning company. All right. And, and that's the first thing illegals come to do because you don't need much to do that. OK, but they lack the skill and technique and they lack the hard work, but they are able to get paid three times less than I what I would charge. So, yes, I know exactly what Trump means when he says black jobs. OK, I know exactly what he means uh, when he says I see the black people out there in the crowd. It's, 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 uh, it's a lot of bright lights in my eyes. I see the black people out there, though. I don't care about any of that. It's, it's not to me. It's not racist to me. Racism. It sounds really bad. Like, listen, you N word. Uh, listen, get, get your N words out of this country. That sounds racist to me. Uh, making America great again, that does not sound racist. So Dr. Umar is losing me on that uh, because he's, his message is conflicting. Either you like Trump or you don't, okay? Either you like good policies or you or like evil policies. You see that the Democrats have done nothing for you for 90 years. He just said that. Comics in the black community. He said that the first term and they do nothing, right? So he's not going to. Wrong. First step act. Uh, funding historical uh, colleges, black historical colleges, indefinitely. Trump did that. They were coming begging for money every single year. Uh, look at the list of people on YouTube that have gotten off on the First Step Act, nonviolent criminals, okay? Undoing the uh, 94 crime bill that Joe Biden put into uh, place, okay? Uh, Trump hasn't done any of these things. Every single racist, uh, uh, I should say, every single uh, allegation of racism that people are saying about Trump, the mainstream media has... Uh, portrayed about him and lied about okay it's just it's nonsense that people still think Donald Trump is racist to me uh, a king wants everybody to do well a good leader wants everybody to do well I don't need to come out and say I want Asian people to do well I want black people to do well. I want everybody to do well all right uh, you you can't just not do something for a whole group of people and do it for another group of people if you have a country you want to do the same things for everyone that everyone has the same opportunity everyone has a brain Everyone's two hands. Everyone's able-bodied people that uh, you know can can be successful in business. That's what we're talking about here. But do nothing. But he's speaking directly to Black America, where Joe Biden is not. And I think that's why he's going to carry a lot of votes, especially Black men, especially Black <laughs> men. Because what is the Black man's biggest issue? Earning money <laughs> oh, oh, oh earning and money you're saying it see our one side of his mouth he's saying donald trump is so racist but out of the other side of his mouth he's saying uh, his policies are great uh dr umar feel free to contact me you can uh, get my google address right in my uh on my page okay on my youtube channel uh go ahead and reach out to me and, and we can have a debate and con uh, uh well, yeah, yeah conversation about this uh because we need to stop talking about racism it has nothing to do with nothing okay 
We're moving forward here. Uh, don't take my light skin and, and say, hey, look, he's not black enough. I'm not trying to hear that, bro. I come from East Baltimore. Uh, a very, very hard environment, okay? I got a lot of great family, too, in Baltimore, all right? Uh, so you're talking to somebody that grew up in the hood, all right? F -f -f like facts. Uh, you can check my resume, bro. Uh, contact me, please, because uh, our hoods are in need of help. Uh, just past uh, J 4th of July, over 100 people got shot in Chicago, bro. Donald Trump offered to send Lori Lightfoot, the National Guard, to stop the killing in the black neighborhood of Chicago, and she called him racist. Stop the cap, bro. Stop the cap about this racism stuff. It's getting you nowhere. For 90 years, okay? Trump ain't, excuse me, Biden ain't even talking about it, so I do think that uh, Donald Trump, for the first time in almost 100 years, he may carry the black vote. Now, I'm still not voting for neither one up. And the reason not. why is they're both racist. Neither one has a track <laughs> record of helping black. To me, a racist person uh, doesn't do anything for anybody and the economy sucks. That's how you know you got a racist in office. Someone who hung out with uh, Klan's members, Dr. Umar, uh, like Robert Berg, okay, uh, and Strom Thurmond, those are known Klan's members. This is so apparent and clear. Don Donald Trump never hung out with any racist, uh, bro. He's never done it. The man's been a, a, a real estate investor for most of his life, okay? A real estate investor, all right? Not hanging out with Klan's members in the government, bro. Stop the cap. There's only a few people here that want to control everything in a black community, all right? Kamala Harris even called Joe Biden a racist. Just because the mainstream media is telling me that Donald Trump is racist, I'm never going to believe it. Turn on Fox for a minute, all right? Look at what Donald Trump has done. Read, uh, actually go on his website and look at Agenda 45, what is it, Agenda 47? Go, go and look at Agenda 47 on Donald Trump's website. Tell me how racist it sounds, bro. Okay? Because the real racists, they don't have a problem with telling you that they're actually racist. And they show you with their policies for 90 years. Folks, Joe Biden got this migrant crisis coming in where he's basically trying to wash out the black with the brown. And they are making headway to see him take care of people who are not even citizens. While we got homeless blacks, disabled blacks out there, veterans who not get what they're supposed to. I can't support that crap. To watch him take care of the Native Americans and the homosexuals and the, and the Asian hate bill and all this and billions to Ukraine and billions to Israel. See, this guy knows what's going on. The only thing stopping him. is that the mainstream media has called Trump a racist. I wish we get rid of the mainstream media because they, they, they don't tell you news, okay? This is propaganda and everybody knows it. They've been lying since I was a kid, bro. They've been lying, they've been lying so badly to everyone. And all of a sudden, and everybody knows that they're lying. But when it comes to Donald Trump, they're telling you the truth. You got to believe everything they say about Donald Trump because he's a racist. Black people are hypersensitive to, to racism. I was at one time. Uh, I, I broke out of that crap. It doesn't make any sense to me, okay? It doesn't make sense to me that God created us all in his image and that I'm supposed to be concerned about my skin color so much that uh, I miss out on everything. Remember, 90 years, bro, 90 years, Democrats. Stop the cap. It's the only thing you haven't tried yet. Hello? And not do nothing for me. He can't get my vote. But when I look at Trump, I look at the fact that he signed more death warrants, federal death warrants, his last term than any president since slavery. And when I look at the fact that he wants to give the police complete immunity, they killing us now. Once they get complete. Uh, he said they want to give police officers. He said they want to give police officers complete immunity. Um, first of all, that's not what this is about. This is about processing and locking up criminals. OK, uh, have you looked in Chicago lately or Baltimore or Philadelphia? Uh, Dr. Umar, when's the last time you've been to the hood? Uh, because something needs to be done. OK. Giving police officers a complete immunity, no, 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 no. We need to arrest criminals, all right? And if you need to shoot them, you need to shoot them. I'm sorry. Uh, but they're killing children. I'm sorry. They're deleting children. They are deleting and erasing children, Umar. Okay? That's what's happening in the hood right now. What you gonna say about that? Uh, the black on black crime, by the way, nobody wants to talk about the elephant in the room. By the way, I got a documentary coming about that. Nobody wants to talk about the black on black crime. The elephant in the room. They're killing us now, though. They're deleting black people. Come on, Umar. Wake up, bro. We need your voice. We, we need you to go all the way here, man. Be on the side of law and order, okay? Stop the capping because it's, it's, it's actually helping people to lose their lives. 
complete immunity. You can't even question what they did. You know how many black folks are going to die on these streets? So for me, I have very strong, compelling reasons to not vote for either. And I don't have a good a good reason to vote for either. So neither one of them get my vote. I'm That's what we are. So so they've got us. Uh, they got my black people. So this is what we, this this is how we, we wind up just hitting a block every single time. All right, you're not now. You're not going to vote for anybody. You're stuck in the middle here. Somebody, one of these presidents are about law and order. One president is about absolute chaos. He already he just said uh, Joe Biden's about total chaos. Homosexuals at the White House. We don't agree with none of that. Okay, the migrants probably don't even agree with none of that. <laughs> okay, if they knew what was going on, they would never vote for Joe Biden. Okay, but they don't care because he let them in our country. So he, he's, he's clearly uh, educated about what's happening. The funding of the wars, the same people doing the funding of the wars, letting the uh, people coming across the border. There's the same people, the same people you guys have been voting for for 90 years. At like a 90% rate, like it's insane. You got to do something different. You got to do something different. Whew. This stuff gets me up, man. I'm telling you. Let me know what you think in the comments. I, uh, you know, I didn't uh, watch the entire uh, video, and I just wanted to react to it naturally. Uh, and I'm glad I did because uh, you know he went off track. Like you know, he, he understands what's going on, but he just goes off track. And that's what happens to the black intellectuals in the black community. That's how they they, they let the mainstream media lie to them. So in my opinion, mainstream media has got to get sued into oblivion, okay, so we can actually have a chance to talk to people, so, so we can be their source, so we can do the research and be honest to these people. It's going to take a while. Like, share, subscribe. This has been Yup, I Said It. Until next time, guys. Thank you.